This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot here to do another weekend energy update for the sign of Leo. Just keep in mind these are general readings and not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs of Leo. So let's jump into this message and see what is coming true for you guys for this week. Spirit messages for my Leos. One more spirit. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Age of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. So there seems to be some past life karma coming back around. We have play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. So you need to be in a little lighter and better mood this, this weekend. Devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So some of you may need to do a heart chakra meditation to get the energies of your heart chakra opening up and moving in the correct order. All right, so let's see what other influential energies are around you this week. Spirit messages for the sign of Leo, for the collective. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck we have male, female. This could be your wife. This could be you. This could be a mother, an aunt. Someone that is very elegant. Someone that is easy to be, to romance. You may be receiving a message of concern. Something that will put you in a state of worry and frustration. You, you may be getting that from this person, whoever in your life that you see as the main person in your life or the main female in your life. You may be receiving a message that is going to cause you some concern. Actually, a lot of concern. You're going to be worried. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to be at that type of stalemate energy where you're not sure exactly how to move towards this person, what to say towards this person or what to do. But this is in regards to house, home, family, stability, and security. So there seems to be a lot of concern uh, this week in regards to stability and long-term commitment. Spirit messages for my Leos in this... For this weekend. Spirit messages for my Leos. For the collective. Alright, so you're trying to heal a heartbreak. You may have had a, or received a message that caused you some heartbreak. You're trying to get over it. You feel right now like you're down on your luck or things have come to a screeching halt. You may feel that a cycle is about to come back around but there is some type of halt or delay. But you're not feeling very lucky this weekend. Stability and long-term commitment is what is going to make you happy. Finding the sense of home and family with someone. Yep, is what will make you happy. It will be your wish fulfillment. Because you may have met someone or you may have been in a relationship with someone that you are now recognizing as a soulmate connection. Could be a Sagittarius you guys are dealing with. <clears throat> or will be dealing with in the future. Or may have dealt with. But this person can't seem to find a balance within themselves to even figure out if they want this connection or not. There may be love here between you and them, 
but I don't think it may be enough to cause them to want to reconcile with you for those of you that this is an energy from your past all right you may be coming towards them truthfully to tell them that they are your wish fulfillment and you may be ready to offer them commitment and stability for some of you this could be a twin flame relationship but i think <clears throat> right now this person isn't interested in that offer so you may be ready to come forward to them and offer them something stable and committed for those of you that this is a twin flame union the role has been reversed and the chaser is now the runner so the roles have been reversed in this dynamic for those of you that this is a twin flame union you all will know otherwise this person just wants to come towards you to offer you some stability in a relationship all right somebody's ready to open up yep somebody's finally ready to open up in this connection and somebody is closing themselves off to the connection because they know there is a cycle that has ended and a new one that has begun and like i said the chaser is now the runner and the roles are in reverse right now for both of you yeah you may want this relationship now leo you may have some com some codependency issues that you should be dealing with if this is a twin flame union but you're ignoring it you're trying to move towards this person again could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you're dealing with but you are not anyway in the um, sphere of being stable or being able to offer this person the stability that they want or are looking for instead you're ready to start something new passionately with them you're ready to explore passion with them again you're ready to start something new and sexual again with this person but I don't think this person will be having that this time around. Yep. They want marriage. They are tired of the ups and downs. They are tired of this runner chaser phenomenon. And they are tired of you trying to boycott every single lesson that you guys have to learn. And it's weighing them down. They don't want anything new to begin again. They don't want to just have sex with you. It's either they, you give them commitment and long-term stability and be real about it or sneak away like you always do but there is no hard feelings here between you and this person anymore this person has finally released this whole relationship towards the universe so it's either you come to them straight offer them real commitment and real stability or they are going to walk away from you because this relationship has been a constant up and down and it's tiring all right so let's see the best advice for my leos in this specific connection the best advice for my leos in this specific situation Spirit. so <laughs> you want a new beginning again you want a new cycle to start over you want to probably travel with this person or travel towards this person for some of you you want to relocate to be close to this person but after all your lies and your deceits and you're running around and you're cheating and you're being dishonest <laughs> yeah this person wants this union they definitely do they see good potential in it but they aren't going to be coming back to you that quite that easy 
they are not going to give in and give up their independence to depend on you. I think they are doing spiritual work on themselves. That is the reason why you have now become the chaser and they are now the runner. Because they are tired. Because they are doing the work to make this relationship a beautiful one, to make this a relationship a, a magnificent one. And you keep running. So now they are taking a closer look at themselves, they are taking a closer look at the situation and they have decided to love themselves more than they love you. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.